Welcome back to my channel, I'm NDL Gamer. Today I'll continue reviewing a new Pokemon game called Pokemon Adventure. The gameplay is quite similar to Elf Explorer, and the movement style resembles Genshin Impact. You can get up to a 45% discount when topping up via the 7ice game app, and here's how to download the game if you, if you don't know how yet. First, you need to download the 7X app, and I'll leave the link in the description. Step one, click on the 7X icon to download games from China. There are a lot of games available here. To log in, click on me, and then enter your email address. I've hidden my email for a reason, so I hope you all understand. After that, go to your Gmail to copy the code. The email will look something like this. That's it. Now you just need to click on the search section, type the name of the game, and it will appear. Uh, the game belongs to the MMORPG genre and is based on Pokemon, although the Pokemon designs are somewhat different from the original. The game can be played on Android devices, and if you have a PC, you can play it using an emulator, just like I'm doing. Um, is this the best Pokemon game of the year? Let's find out in this review video. The storyline of the game is similar to other Pokemon games. You start as a boy or girl with a basic Pokemon and go on a journey to catch other Pokemon in order to participate in battles and win great rewards. You build stronger Pokemon teams for more challenging battles. Although the Pokemon in this game have been redesigned differently from those in other games, I see it as a creative touch and I appreciate the developers for that. The gameplay is quite simple. You just need to select a quest and the character will automatically run to the location to complete it. Of course, strategy and knowledge about Pokemon are still important to win more easily. The game is a bit laggy, possibly because I have too many games installed on my device. In terms of graphics, I think the game is quite beautiful. The design of both the characters and the Pokemon is detailed, especially the stunning backgrounds. I believe many of you will like it as much as I do. The movement system feels similar to Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail. The only downside is that the game is in Chinese, making it harder for international players to access, but you can use the translation feature from the 7X app if you get stuck. As for the sound, it's similar to most Pokemon games, with the iconic background music that immediately reminds you of Pokemon. Uh, the sound effects are also similar to those in most other Pokemon games. What stands out the most in this game is the character voices, which I find quite cute. I'm sure many of you will feel the same. The game offers many exciting features, such as catching Pokemon. Almost all of them can be caught if you're persistent enough. You can star up your Pokemon to increase their power, and there's also Pokemon Evolution. Evolution. Additionally, there are battlefields where you can face opponents of similar strength to showcase your Pokemon training skills. Sending your Pokemon into battle helps them gain experience, or you can use certain items like XP candies to level them up. Completing quests in the game rewards you with Pokeballs, which you can use to catch Pokemon although some Pokemon are quite difficult to catch, requiring better Pokeballs. I'll talk more about this if I get the chance. At a glance, I think the game's strength lies in its graphics, which are really nice. Compared to Elf Explorer, I'd say they're on par. As for weaknesses, I find the game a bit laggy when moving, and the language barrier might make it challenging for some players when completing quests. If you enjoy this game, I could make more guides for it, so don't worry. But if the views and likes are too low, I won't make more videos, so please share it widely. Compared to other Pokemon games, I think this one is quite worth trying. It's really engaging. After playing for a day, I found myself liking it. For those of you wanting to experience the game, I've already explained how to download it, so check that out. 
As for which Pokemon to pick early on, try to catch Butterfree, Gyarados, or Pikachu as they're quite useful. Remember to complete the main quests within the day to reach the highest level possible, unlock new features, and finish daily events for more chances to get strong items and Pokemon, which will help you pass difficult stages. Thanks to everyone who has watched the video until now. You can continue watching my gameplay to get a better feel for the game, helping you decide whether to download it or not. Goodbye.